going on? It's your girl, Anita Rivers of Classic Royalty. And first of all, I want to wish all you guys a happy belated New Year's, happy belated Christmas. I know I've been in MIA for a while. The holidays has got me really busy. Prom season is just around the corner, but I am back with more videos and it will continue to come you guys' way. For this video, as you guys can see, I already have a dress already made for a client and it's for her birthday. The one thing that I got that I want to show you guys is how to add on the feather trim to this dress. Now, I know a lot of you guys buy feathers from the fabric store that has that little trim that you can sew on, but for this particular dress, I don't have that. So what I have here is just your regular boa. So if you find this in your local store, it's about five to six dollars to sixty dollars, depending on how fancy you guys want to get with your boas. So this is the boa that I'm gonna actually sew on to the bottom of this dress. So as you guys can see, this boa doesn't necessarily match the color, but it gives great contrast. So I'm gonna show you guys an easier way just to sew on the boa to the bottom of the hem. I know this style is very in season. You see it on Instagram. So I'm going to show you a quick way um, just to sew on or how to sew on this boa instead of actually using your sewing machine and then sewing it because when you normally use the regular trim and you sew it on, that white trim really... There's like feathers everywhere. That's the bad thing about using this. I'm going to go on my whole way and shake this baby out because this is not cool. And yes, they do shed. I'll be right back. Okay, so for those of you who have never worked with the feathers before, when you actually get the feathers, just know that they do shed and there's no way to fix that unless you get like hair spritz or anything like that. But they will shred. Shred? Shed. <laughs> And on another note, when you get your boas or your feathers, there will be a little knot here. So when you get this, you will just get your scissors and you will just take this and you'll just cut them off. Just take that and cut it off. And those of you who are wondering what it is, it's just like a little, see, it's just like a little, it reminds you of like a mop. So that's what it is. So that's really the first step and normally on the both sides of your boa yep there should be two so you'll just take the other side and you'll cut that one off as well I'm gonna actually get some pins because I'm gonna start the boa put it on the side seam here and I'm gonna pin and then we're gonna lift it underneath and then we're gonna hand sew and tack wherever we put the pin at so let me go get some pins. You know, so you go ahead and get some of your pins. I love these pins, especially the colorful ones. So again, I'm gonna start the side seam. I'm taking my boa. I'm gonna place it right on top of the fabric. So when I turn it over, whatever the pin is, that's where I'm gonna tack the boa. Or if you like, you can take your pin and you can pin it from underneath and it will look like that underneath so we're going to continue to pin and i think i'm actually going to pin underneath i like that way better so you take your pin you go underneath and your pin goes over the trim and back into the fabric and we're going to do that all the way around until the feather is secure and see so far this is what your dress should look like and it's pretty nice i think what i'm going to do um, and I'm done with the dress. I'm gonna steam it because once you steam it, the feathers get more fluffier, and I want it to be real fluffy. Then I'm gonna get some hair spritz and just put some hair spritz on here so it can hold so it won't come apart anymore. Well, not come apart, but okay, guys. As you guys can see, I am right back where the point where I started at. So, all of this extra feather, I'm not gonna cut it off, I'm gonna continue and bring this to the front because the fuller. The feather, the better. I'm just gonna take this and bring it right on top. And I'm gonna pin it as well. Just to make sure it covers the entire front of the dress. And I'm gonna pin this. And I'm gonna hand sew this as well. See, and it ends right back where the other side seam is. So that extra fabric or extra feather that we actually had, it worked out perfectly. Just a few more pins. 
and then we're gonna be done and then we can actually you know start hand sewing this baby down my sweater is like so bad all right guys so as you guys can see this is the top of the dress and this is how the bottom looks right now it's pinned so we're gonna sew it you guys are gonna grab your thick two inch needle and then you guys are gonna grab just a thread that matches this is tan to match the gold and now guys you have two options you can actually just turn the hem inside out and sew it or you can take this off the mannequin and then put it on your lap and then hand sew it so I think for me so I can see the inside I'm gonna take this off the mannequin I'm gonna turn it inside out so I can see where my um, pins are and mark it I'm gonna actually gonna hand sew it that way so the best way to actually that your thread is just to take your thread again get your biggest needle okay this is about two inches and I'm gonna feathers oh my god and I'm gonna take my needle and concentrate <laughs> and you want to double it see how normally you do tie a knot here and you have one single no when you do anything like this with extra fabric extra trims you always double your thread so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna pull it through and I'm going to double my thread once i finish doubling my thread i'm gonna take my thread and tie a knot only at the end and now i'm gonna take this off the mannequin i'm gonna flip it inside out i'm gonna hand sew everywhere where i put the pin so whatever the pin is that's where you sew tie a knot or well you're tacking so whatever you put the pin you will sew that tie a knot sew it tie a knot sew it and tie a knot about three times then you go to the next pin so tie a knot, so tie a knot, so tie a knot, and then so on and so forth around the whole entire skirt so that it can be secure and tight. So that when she's dancing, when your client is moving, nothing falls off, but a little of the feathers, but that's okay. But you don't want her to be dancing and the whole entire boa comes off. That's not cool, guys. Okay, so as you guys can see, I took my garment off the mannequin, and this is the inside of her dress with the lining and everything. So you can see the lining, you can see the zipper. So everywhere you see a pin, so I'm gonna tack here, tack here, tack here tack here. Feel why I have the little knot and I'm gonna go underneath. I'm gonna pull all the way through underneath again and do a knot and pull all the way through. Do that about another two times and then you move on to the next pin. As you can see I am finally finished with doing the feather bottom you know it took some time it's very time consuming so this is your first time actually hand sewing these feathers on take your time get something for your fingers because it will hurt um and just make sure that the feathers are on uh properly you know shake them out make sure nothing falls off make sure nothing is loose and then also when your client comes in for a fitting or for a pickup have your client try on the garment and then if there's something wrong fix it while the garment is on your client it's always best to have something wrong where your client can see it so that you can fix it rather than it being wrong your client taking the garment home and seeing it and it'll be a whole mess so again as you guys can see I'm done with this garment and if you want to see this garment or if you want to see any garment that I've created on my YouTube channel and you want to see it on my client always check my snapchat if you guys want to know where I shop to get these sexy fabrics at in the description box, I have a whole list of stores where I shop at. And again, if you are interested in learning about fashion, sewing, anything else, or just need other designers in your corner, make sure in my description box you go ahead and follow my sewing group. It's Classic Royalty Sewing Tips and Tutorials. And that is it. If you guys have any questions about where I get my feathers, my fabrics, my lining, or about this video in general, please leave it below in the comments. I will love answering you guys' questions. I'm not one of them bougie YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat designers. I reply back to some of you guys. Like I said before, I work. I know you guys work, so give me a second to reply. But once again, thank you guys for watching. I highly appreciate it. And more videos will be on the way. Bye, guys.